Hello, trombone players. Okay, so we're working on page 18, which has a couple of things that we need to talk about first. So you have the time signature, which is 3-4. You're already comfortable with that. You already know that. It's not a big deal. But you have a dotted half note, which means that your half notes, if it has a dot next to it, is three counts. A dot is really cool because it adds half of whatever it's attached to. For example, a half note we know is normally two beats. What is half of two beats? One. So that dot actually adds those three counts together. So the dotted half note turns into three counts. Another one you, think in, you can think of is a whole note. Whole notes normally get four counts. Now, time to do some math. What's half of four? Two. So adding those together, a dotted half note actually gets six counts altogether. That's held out for quite a while if you think about it. And I don't see many, very many of those, but it's still fun to think about. Okay, now we're going to start with line 47 and 48 for this video, counting three and down in the valley. Now, make sure with counting three that you are focusing on holding it for three counts, and also you are releasing your sound. We don't want it to be slurred at all. Now, here we go, counting three. One, two, three. I apologize, I had some spit. Okay, there is a repeat sign on that, so make sure you go back and repeat it. Now, we're going to move on to Down in the Valley, though. Down in the Valley has slurs and ties. Now, if you're saying, well, what's a tie? A tie is actually kind of like a tying your shoelace. You're tying two things together. Now, the first line has an example of both of those. The first one goes from G to E flat. Now, because it changes notes, that's a slur. We have to be very careful when we're doing slurs on trombone because we don't want to sound like this. It's really fun to do. Those are called glissandos, but we don't want to do that unless it's actually written in the music, which it's not this time. So in order to do a slur on a trombone, you have to use a soft tongue to do two to release it, do to start the second sound. So it goes like this. Instead of normally, there's actually a separation normally. You don't want a separation anymore. It's much softer if you go do. Now, going on from that E, go to the next measure, you've got some quarter notes, and then you've got that fun F. That is two dotted half notes with a line above it connecting them together. Because it doesn't change notes, that's actually a tied note. That's very important to know the difference. Slur changes notes, a tie does not. You're tying a shoelace together. So it's going to be connecting two of the same things together. That means that that note actually gets held up for six counts. All right, let's give this one a try. I'm not going to repeat the end of it. You may do so on your own time, but I'm not going to just for the sake because I've been talking a lot. So here we go. Down in the valley. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm going to restart. One, two, three. Never mind. Restarting again. Obviously, I made a lot of mistakes. What I did was I didn't go high enough on my notes, and that's something that I should have practiced before I recorded, but 
just goes to show that I make mistakes just like you guys. So don't be afraid of that. Restarting is just fine. All right, practice down in the valley, please, making sure that you're paying attention to the slurs and the ties. All right, I'll see you for the next one.